Holy smokes, it is foggy. Look at this. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Yo. What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Oh, one up top. All you out here at the lease field again. And I've read enough comments to know. And I think I'm smart enough to know. I'm going to try it out. The modified. It's a mid-range. Sorry, guys, but all of our chokes are actually out of stock on the website right now. They sold out really, really quickly. But just know we are working very hard to get them stocked back up again. And when they are in stock, I will let you guys know first thing. If you purchase any products at DucksWaterfowl.com, remember to use code BOB to save yourself some money. Ducks choke. We're going to try her out today and see if I have any better luck. Uh, with shooting percentage. Hopefully we have something to shoot at. How many have you killed? I've got three so far. Three? Mm -hmm. He's got the dog with you. Mm -hmm. He's got He's got his black dog tied to the bucket. He was like, I'm trying to make him not break, you know, trying to teach him not to break. He said <laughs> he shot one and about took the bucket out from under you. Uh, they'll do that. Yeah. Them big jobs, them dogs will do it. Oh yeah. Oh, Here. he might be coming back. No bird. There he might be landing. Uh oh, it's walkout time. I'm definitely gonna walk him out. Let's give him a tr let's give him a go, shall we? Ooh, nope. Oh, is he, is he hurt? Um, kind of looks like it, don't he? Uh, that was him that got up, wasn't yeah. it? Okay. No bird, no bird. Here, up. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to look at the shot cam footy. Today is about learning the, were you behind him? Man, I felt like I was leading him a lot. Like, a good amount. I even moved forward on the second shot. Yeah. Today is gonna concentrate on this modified and seeing if there's a difference. If I can discover the difference, or if I just need to leave my foal in and forget about the whole choke tube issue, so. Well, uh, it got slow a long time ago, so I went on a big walk, as y'all probably seen. Uh, shot two, only recovered one. I lost that other one. That long shot, I looked and I looked. It's crazy, you have to keep your mark. Like, you have to keep such a hard mark. You can't look away, you can't wipe your nose, you can't look for other birds. If you take your eye off, if it's like over 20 yards, and you take your eye, dude, you can't be eating my dove, man. That's my dove. One on the board, two actually, but lost one. So, you wanna smell it or what? Smell it. You can't eat it, no, no. Good boy. But I think I like the whole modified oh, yeah. for the dove. Uh, good lead, really good lead, and then up. Yeah. That's where I'm having to put my pin up. You know, my the beat of my gun needs to be up. So I go, I go out and then just yeah. like one little step up and I hit them every time. You know. You think you've been shooting under them? I think I've been shooting. I think my lead has been really well, even with the the full choke, but up. Uh-huh. Y'all been asking about it all summer long. They're all back in stock. If you guys want to pick up the Cup Ducks camo hat, it's sweet. Oh, absolutely awesome. Uh, then the old Feather Light long sleeves. We got matching. This is the green, the olive. They're awesome. Uh, what is the temperature today? Or It's warmed up a little bit now, but... Yeah. Sixty-eight. Sixty-eight right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, that bad. Not much wind at all. A little bit humid. This morning, I bet it was right at 60, 59. It was awesome. Oh my goodness, it was beautiful. But the old Cup Ducks hat and uh, Feather Light long sleeve t-shirts, I will link down below at the top of the description. Use code BOB to save some money. 
I think this uh, cool weather nights, these cool nights, like, dude, the last couple nights, two nights ago, it was almost cold. Like, I went outside, I uh, just shorts on, no shirt or something, yeah. late at night. I was like, holy cow, it is almost cold, yeah. like, cold. <sighs> well, tried to uh, jump shoot some. Um, we're back at the house. Uh, lease field did not pan out very well. Shot to um now we're getting it going back here in the yard uh there's probably 10 dove back here when i just drove back here on the golf cart so that's a really good sign they're still coming back we've hunted it quite a bit i haven't shot a lot of birds back here just i'd say what six total seven maybe eight at most um so haven't whooped their butts back here let's just put it at that so, I think we're gonna shoot some here. I, I think I like this modified choke. Honestly, it's our mid-range ducks choke. And I believe we're out of stock of, of them right now, but we should be stocked back up uh, in a couple weeks. When we do stock up, I'll let you guys know. Because I love them. Basically, it's the same choke I've always used. We just made it a little better, pretty much. So, it's awesome. Before we get the fire in here, I found a public walk-in only spot, a different one. Uh, on the way home, I'm gonna go hunt it in the morning. Oh my goodness, it is loaded with birds. And it's gonna be a much different public hunt. I think the reason the dove love it, because it's a lot of sand like this, um, and there's just dead trees everywhere. Dead trees everywhere. Landed on the other side of the pond. Wonder if I can walk him out. Let's try it. Probably not. He's gonna see me. Pretty sure I know what I'm doing wrong. Okay, so I think I think I'm leading too much. Earlier I didn't think I was leading enough. Yesterday I didn't think I was leading enough. And today I believe I'm leading too much. So I don't know. It's been a struggle here lately with the dove. I, I usually don't struggle this bad shooting dove. Uh, yesterday I did a 410 hunt and I don't know how many misses. Uh, a lot. I couldn't hit a single bird. I have no idea why just like off, I don't know, so, I don't know. Yes. Came right to me from the back. Boom, look at the feathers. <laughs> that was a good shot. That felt good. All right, that, uh, Told me what I need to know. I hope I captured that on the shot cam. I was leading too much. Plain and simple. Put it on them. Yeah. Now I'm feeling good with the old modified. Mid-range. Mid-range. Um, I'll have to take it out here in a minute and read what diameter it is for y'all. So I figured I'd just do this right now because I actually forgot to film that part. Uh, it is 0 .707 uh, over, or sorry, under bore. So 0 .707 um, tighter than stock bore on my SB3, okay? So though, those of you that know what I'm talking about, you know, if you don't, Google it, look it up, see what it means. But a good modified mid-range uh, choke size. Oh, he was a little out there. <laughs> I knew I heard a dove, like I heard, I'm like, where is that at? Sure enough, two more out front. 
Probably spooked him out of another part of part of the backyard. All right, let's see if we can walk him out. Gonna land right behind me in the tree. Scared him up over there. He did a full circle and landed behind me in a tree. <laughs> oh. Alrighty. Um, what time is it, Bob? Let's see. It is. 4.30. Um, took a long break. Uh, went and uploaded. Um, and then I came out for about 30 minutes and did a ton of mowing. Um, I had asked you guys in a in an older video, I don't know, the last video probably, I was like, should I mow some of these sunflowers and the grass, especially the sunflowers, the wild sunflowers. And uh, one guy, there's a lot of guys that commented, but one guy had an awesome point and he said, right now, he was like, you have water and you have gravel you don't have a feed. They're not coming there to feed as well. He's like, if you cut some wild sunflowers or anything, you cut it, there's gonna be food on the ground now. And, you know, I've been wanting to make it look better for a while. It's, it's needed mode, I just haven't because all the pretty sunflowers, I've, I've seen that the dove have loved them. So, I just mowed, hadn't been 20 minutes later after I was done mowing, I just golf carted out here and there's already about 10 scattered, so. Like always, just hoping. Hoping that they come right on back. Because I didn't push them out hard, push them out real gentle with the old quiet golf cart, so. Wish us luck. So, big question is, will the mowing help? No, that's way too far. What do you guys think? He's coming in. He is? Nope, he's not. What do you guys think? That's pretty cool. You like it, sis? Papa, is this your first time? Yeah. You ready to have some fun? Yeah. Yeah? That's my girl. Hi, sis. How's your arm feel? What? How's your arm feel? Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, bub. Hi. How are you? Good. Bub's always good. Got the little ones out here with me and uh, trying to do a good old dove roundup out back. Uh, last night there was a lot back here. Today not as much. Just tried to shoot one. It didn't work out too well. But we're gonna get to running the gun here and I'm gonna shut up. I just hit him! I knocked the whole butt off of him. How did that bird get out of there? He came right in the sun and landed. Come on, place. Come on, buddy, up here. No, 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 no. Fred, 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 Fred. Fred, here. Come on. Come on, let's go. Sit up here. That's a good boy. Scoot over. Scoot over. Well. It is the next day yet again. Uh, this video has just been one that I've had fun going day to day and trying the backyard, trying my lease fields, really not trying too hard to get on the birds. You know what I mean? Just taking it easy. We're gonna go out back. I'm gonna take a look to see if there's any birds around at all. Uh, it's really slowed down out back, but I scouted this morning and I have some amazing news. I acquired a teal hunt for opener, so I was worried that I may not be able to find any teal because we're so hot and dry. Uh, hot and dry makes for great dove hunting, not good teal hunting. So, um, did in fact find some. So we're gonna have that in the bag. I found probably two pigeon feeds that we're gonna hunt uh, and they have dove all in them. Um, and then I found, I probably have four or five awesome dove hunts right now. So, uh, it's about to get wicked. The one scout that I did this morning probably provided for the next five or six videos. It was amazing. Plus, I acquired some new lease ground. 
I got two new duck ponds uh, that a guy was very eager to lease me. Um, and then I got some new, <laughs> which I'm very excited about. I've been looking for some good deer hunting ground somewhere uh, that I can rifle hunt, you know, and put a feeder out and do all that stuff. Uh, found one, got one in the bag as well. So very successful scout day today. And I am very excited for the videos that are uh, on the deck, up and coming. Update on Judge, the, the new dog. Uh, Paul, still hurt. The wound will not, it's almost healed, but the reason is this. I don't know why he does it. I have no actual idea why he does this, but um, every time he goes to get a drink, yep, there's one dove sitting on a dead tree. We're out here now. Watch, he's gonna get up right here eventually. Yep, there he goes. Okay. Ooh, one, two, only two so far. So not very many. Um, back to what I was saying about the new dog. I don't know why he does this, but every time he goes and gets a drink, he takes his front paws and he stomps in the water bottle or in, in the water bowl. I have a big water bowl for the dogs and then he'll like sit in it, lay in it, but he'll just stomp and like get his chest in it. Oh, there goes one right there, right beside the golf cart. Uh, for some reason and what he keeps doing is uh, getting that paw, that hurt pad wet constantly and wet and wet and wet and it just won't allow it to heal his paw needs to stay dry f for a long time and any type of size of water bowl i've given him i've even given him a small water bowl so he can't stomp in it and he still will he'll put one paw in it at a time i don't understand the water bowl stomping thing if you guys have any information on that and what i can do uh, so he can't do it any longer drop a comment down below please and help me out Because he should already been on several dove hunts. We have good pigeon and teal hunts coming. He needs to be hunting I need to get him healed now and it feels like I've been keeping him inside trying to get him healed up and That water stomping. I don't know why he's doing that So looks like old Freddie will be joining us on teal opener. So I'm very excited about that and I guarantee he is too uh, so from what I can see about five total right now and it's It is probably 1 30 in the afternoon here. So um, I'm gonna not hunt it for a while. I'm gonna try to let it rebuild so we can get out here again uh, I started a pit blind dove hunting video out of the pit blind right here on the pond um, I'm gonna wait till it gets built up again, and we're gonna try it again So it'll be you know another two three day part series um, and, and I, I like putting videos together through a few days. So you got to, you guys get to see, you know, like a couple days, a few days of, of my life and vlogging and hunting and the ups and downs and all that stuff, rather than just going out for one hunt and I shoot two birds and making a whole video. So if you guys have any recommendations for what you guys want to see coming up here, um, I know what you guys want to see and you're going to get it. So, uh, but drop a comment down below and let me know. Guys, there's like 65% of you that have not smashed the notification bell down there. If you do so, whenever I upload, a little notification will pop up on your phone. You don't have to click it. It doesn't go bing, it's not annoying. It's very small, you can ignore it. Uh, but it just tells you that your boy uploaded and you can click it. So try it out. If you don't like it, come back and turn it off. It's that easy. But before we go here, I want to give you guys a huge heads up and a huge reminder. Um, with dove season here, and teal season coming and hunting season here, right? No matter what type of hunting, what type of game you're doing, please double check, make sure that you have all your regulations in order, meaning all your licensing, all your permits, permits, all your stamps, right? Um, you know, for dove, you need to have your hunting license. You probably need a stamp or two. You need the hip stamp, right? According to your state laws and regulations. So. Double check, make sure you have everything. Just don't assume you do. Um, check, make sure you have, you know, once duck season comes, make sure you have that federal stamp signed and on you, on your person, every time you're hunting, right? So just wanted to uh, remind you guys that. I'm probably going to remind you guys uh, a little bit more, you know, this season, uh, especially at the beginning and, and the end of the videos, um, just because I feel like uh, there's a lot of beginners and a lot of newbies, which is awesome. It's great. Thank goodness, right? But um, they need to be informed. They need to be aware. 
and you need to be safe. You need to be looking out for yourself. So, and you need to be legal, uh, first and foremost. Subscribe if you haven't, but until next time.